Now let's take a look at another example. So this example says, here we have find the coordinate matrix. of vector x, which is given to you as one, two, and negative one in the space relative to, we have a basis, which is non-standard basis, let's call it d prime, which is v1, v2, v3 and it is 1 0 1 then you have 0 negative 1 2 and then you have 2 3 and negative 5 very good so we're trying to find this little matrix we need to try to write x as a linear combination of these vectors and then find the coefficients. Those coefficients are the coordinates. So let us start. x is 1 to negative 1, which must be written as c1, v1, c2, v2, c3, v3. Or 1 to a negative 1 is equal to c1. The very first vector is 1, 0, 1, plus c2. The second vector is 0, negative 1, and 2 plus C3, which is 2, 3, and negative 5. So what's the meaning of that? It means that C1 and 0 and C1 is just forming a system later. If you want to write this in detail, this is the detail that you have. 2 times C3 and 3 times c3 and minus 5 c3. If you combine these vectors together, it's equal to this vector on the left-hand side. But if you're adding the vectors together, you're adding the first elements, the second elements, and the third elements together. So here you have 1, 2, negative 1, which is equal to c1 plus 0, plus 2 c3 and then you have 0 minus c2 plus 3 c3 and then you have c1 plus 2 c2 minus 5 c3. The very first corresponding elements must be equal to each other. So it means that if I form a system of linear equations, this is 1 equals to c1 plus 2 c3. Then you have 2 which is equal to negative c2 plus 3 c3 and then you have finally negative 1 which is equal to c1 plus 2 c2 minus 5 c3. So we are basically solving this system. Solve for c1, c2 and c3. So basically solving this system is equivalent to solving the problem of the coefficient matrix 1, 0, 1, then 0, negative 1, 2, 2, 3, negative 5 times C1, C2, C3 equals to 1, 2, and negative 1. So this should be easy for you to solve. Here you can find the inverse of this matrix. If you call it matrix A, find inverse of matrix A and C1. C2, C3 is equal to the inverse of that matrix multiplied by 1, 2, negative 1. If you solve this, C1 is 5, C2 is negative 8, and C3 is negative c. So basically you can write the answer as x the coordinates of x relative to basis b prime is equal to 5 
negative 8 and negative 2.